and Amit Malviya, my first question is to you. Why is it that the opposition is just uh, so mistrusting of the government? First it was Pegasus, now it is Apple iPhones which are being hacked. What really is the government doing and why are these messages only coming to opposition leaders? Why has not a single BJP leader got such messages? Why has not a single BJP minister got this uh, message? Why is the opposition on target? Well, first of all, this is not a question to the government of India. And these are not attempts by the opposition to put the government in question. This is an attempt by the opposition to weaken people's trust in India's institutions. And that is why such repeated charges are made, which are never substantiated. In your opening comments, Navika, you have listed out a long uh, list of episodes when the opposition actually came up with similar charges from Pegasus to the uh, wire alleging that uh, the BJP's IT cell, which is me in person, controls Meta and Instagram, for which I filed a criminal case against them, and now the Apple notification. To your question, why has no one else in the BJP got a notification just for the records? I have checked and uh, Union Minister Piyush Goel's office has confirmed to me that the email ID that is linked to his Apple ID has received a similar notification. But the fact is that we are busy in constructive work ensuring that we are doing what is expected of us in the government and here you have an opposition which is absolutely issueless they don't have a substantive uh, agenda to corner this government with so they keep coming up with these frivolous charges every now and then having said that they started outraging at 9 a.m the story was dead by noon because apple put out a clarification and that's quite clear in its content um, apple's uh, notification has gone to uh, users across 150 countries who may have received this notification. They are not quite sure the reason for it. They have also not alleged that a particular government or state agency is behind it. Having said that, if you want to uh, do your politics on paranoia, you are free to do so. But look at it this way. Rahul Gandhi gets off the press conference and stands discredited in the next five minutes because Apple has put out a statement which completely negates everything that he had to say. It is the same Rahul Gandhi who led the campaign uh, on Pegasus. He made several statements, um, held press conferences, uh, picked up the issue in Parliament, in fact blocked Parliament proceedings for a while in the name of Pegasus. But when it came to uh, deposing or submitting his phone for a forensic check to the committee constituted by the Supreme Court, not only Rahul Gandhi, but none of the opposition leaders came forward and submitted their phones. Even now, if anybody in the opposition feels that they are being snooped on, they should file an FIR. They should demand a forensic uh, check on their phones and let the obvious be known that this is nothing but a hoax call. It is a damn squid, much like the earlier episodes, which fell flat. But we all waste collective national time discussing frivolous issues like this and get distracted from the more important uh, issues of governance, the big programs that the prime minister is leading, the turnaround of the economy, the thriving um, econ economic uh, growth that we are seeing, all of those are being put in the back burner because the opposition seems to prioritize issues which are meant to weaken people's faith in India's institution. And that is the crux of this entire campaign and the ones that we saw in the past.